so I'm going to run through with you some of the angle facts, okay? So some of these you might know, some might be new to you. Um, so the first one here, um, I've got four different lines all coming off and what we know about these is these are all, uh, these are all angles um, A, B, C and D that are going around a point and A plus B plus C plus D add up to 360 degrees and what we basically say here is that angles around a point sum to 360 degrees okay and here what we have is we have a straight line with two angles x and y we could have more if we wanted to but the important thing is we've got a straight line and here if you're in a straight line then those two angles will add up to 180 degrees and what we say here is angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees okay now this one looks very similar to this one here but it's not and it's not because these are actually two straight lines that are crossing okay and that's important because these are four separate disjointed li lines now of course those four angles do add up to 360 degrees and on each line they add up to 180 but because it's two lines crossing like that if this pair adds up to 180 and so does that pair and so does that pair then what that means is the opposite angles must be equal so this one is equal to this one and this one is equal to this one which is why I've labeled them with the same letters and what we say for this is that vertically opposite angles oops, So the opposite angles are equal to each other. Now, those ones you possibly are more familiar with, but these are a little bit different. Now what I've got here is I've got three diagrams which look very, very similar, but all of them have something in common, and that something in common is that we've got a set of parallel lines in them. Now if we have parallel lines, um, and we have this line coming across them, cutting through those parallel lines, we actually have a series of interesting facts. Um, now, for the first one, I would like you to draw your attention to this angle here and this angle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw your attention to the fact that we can make a Z shape like so. Now, that Z shape really looks like a Z there, but it can also go backwards like that or it can be twisted round and look kind of in various different ways. The, the key to it is when you find your Z shape, it's in the corners of the Z here, and those angles will be equal. So if I call this one X and this one Y, then X is equal to Y. Now this has got a name and its name is alternate angles. And we say that alternate angles are equal okay so you're looking for that Z shape and just to give you a bit of an idea as I say you could have it also going backwards like that and then it would be in the corners like so okay so you're just looking for a Z shape you must remember the name though alternate angles are equal. Okay, moving on to my next diagram then. Let me show you the colour. So again, we've got our parallel lines, all right? And this time I'm looking for a different shape, and that shape is an F. And if I highlight it for you here, if I look for the F, I'm looking for this bit here and here. And let's call that one A this time, and this angle here B. And if that's the case, then A is equal to B, much the same as we had here. But this one's got a different name, so these angles are called corresponding angles are equal. Now, I 
again, this diagram could be drawn a different way around. So if I did a little mini one here, one example of this is it could be, let's go with back to front and upside down. So it could be like here, but you're always looking for it in the corners of the F like so. And your parallel lines would be these two parallel lines. Right, the last one that we've got, okay, same diagram again. This time I want you to draw your eye into this C shape like so. Now with the C shape we're looking for the dot there and there. Let's call this, I don't know, C and D and we can say that C is equal to D. Um, sorry, not C is equal to D, got carried away. Um, C, this time, this is different. C plus D is equal to 180 degrees. This one is different, just to be clear. Now this one is called interior angles, and we say interior angles sum to 100 80 degrees. It's really important that you know the difference. So we have corresponding, alternate and interior. Corresponding and alternate are equal and interior sum to 180 degrees. And the same with this one again, I can draw a different type of diagram and I could have my C shape the other way around like that and I'll be looking at those two angles there. Okay, and importantly, think about where the parallel lines are. So on the Z shape, it's the top and the bottom of the Z. Those have got to be your parallel lines. On the F shape, it's kind of the prong parts, if you like, of the F that poke out. And on the C shape, it's the top and the bottom of the C. All right, and that's what you're looking for. So these are all angle facts that you need to know and learn and know their names to be able to answer questions.